Namaste my friends. Today we will learn about compatibility using harmonic astrology. And we will use the charts of Barack Obama and Joe Biden. Uh, and we will use the charts of Bill and Hillary Clinton to demonstrate the ideas. Okay, let's go in. Let's not look at that yet. That will look confusing. <laughs> Don't get scared. Let's look at something you're familiar with. Here we go. A by wheel. Uh, well, when we do compatibility, uh, a common thing to do in astrology is to look at a bywheel. And I've got here in Sirius 1.3 Barack Obama's chart in the center. And I have, uh, you know, President Obama in the center and his Vice President Joe Biden on the outside. And this particular bywheel style, I like this one. It has uh, its own cusps. So the, you know, the inner wheel, of course, has the normal cusps. And then the outer wheel, you can see the house numbers here, has its own cusps. So you can see what house the planet is in within the chart. So I can see that Sun and Mercury are in the 12th house uh, in Biden's chart. And then I can see that they're falling um, in the 9th house. In fact, well, this is pretty wonderful. Um, Biden's Sun at 27 Scorpio 34 is conjunct... Obama's midheaven at 28 Scorpio 54, uh, just slightly over a degree. So that's a, a great combination for uh, a dynamic business or, or political combination to have one person's sun on the other person's midheaven. Um, so uh, that alone would indicate that, uh, that Biden was a good choice, at least in terms of compatibility. Um, so we, here we have, <clears throat> excuse me, the... Um, sun on, on the midheaven, and, you know, that's how compatibility is often done, and to look for aspects between the charts. We might notice, for example, that uh, in the outer ring, again, is Biden. His Uranus is conjunct uh, Obama's moon, so that might uh, be pretty jumpy, but, you know, sort of unstable, or, you know, they're joking around a lot. Uh, that'd be good for a comedy team. I don't know if it's so great for president and vice president, but um, Obama's got his moon sextile Mercury, which means that uh, Biden's Uranus is sextile uh, Obama's Mercury. In fact, very tightly, under half a degree orb. Um, and in fact, we would notice that oh, uh, Biden has a Uranus-Neptune trine from 2 Gemini to 1 Libra, and Obama's Mercury right in the middle making sextiles to both. Uh, sextiles are regarded as being good. So that's that's a nice thing, uh, you know, many astrologers would say. So this is the way the compatibility is often done, looking at planets in each other's houses, um, aspects between the charts, uh, and you, you, know, you see what kinds of, of patterns there are. What would harmonics add to this? Would it, would it help us to see anything? Uh, well, what we'll find with the harmonics is it will fill in a story of these more complex patterns, more intricate patterns, that looks more like a tapestry rather than a set of individual aspects. So instead of seeing, you know, a bunch of separate things, you tend to see an interwoven pattern uh, of different things. Uh, f uh, for example, we'll also see here that Obama's Mars, a 22 Virgo, sextile uh, Biden's Mercury. So they have a Mars sextile Mercury, another good thing going on. Most of these aspects that I've mentioned are actually all connected from the viewpoint of harmonics, believe it or not. All these things are are related together into an intricate pattern that is very powerful and very positive. Uh, and you may say, well, if it's so great and so positive, why aren't they doing a better job? Well, they are President and Vice President of the United States. That, that in itself is quite an achievement. So you will see in the charts of highly successful uh, partnerships you will see the kinds of patterns I'm talking about, even if you might not regard them as 
politically, you know, perfect from some things are popping up here on my screen, having nothing to do with this. My virus protection program is popping up. Sorry. Um, even though uh, you may say, well, it's not the perfect match, you're not doing everything right, um, you will see overall in uh, people who reach the top of the field these excellent combinations, and they do have some margin of success and, and impact that most other people are not having. Okay, so, uh, let's see how we see this in harmonics. Well, one of the things we often look at in relationships are ninth harmonic aspects. So we can look at a thing called the ninth harmonic chart. Uh, and in the software you just go over and you select this, and you select harmonic chart. I've already done that. Uh, and we have uh, for uh, Quentin, we have his ninth harmonic chart. Enough for Quentin. For we're doing Obama. Here's Obama's ninth harmonic chart. Uh, and what the ninth harmonic chart does is it allows you to see uh, trines and sextiles, and also the noviles more clearly. They will end up all being conjunct each other. And here's Biden's ninth harmonic chart. Uh, and Again, it will it will condense or contract. It'll 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 make all the trines and sextiles and and the novile aspects. It'll turn them into conjunctions and oppositions. How it does that, if you're not familiar with this, just consider it to be magic. It just it does it does it. Um, so I've already uh, created a little uh, a by wheel showing these things. Um, Here's the, a by wheel. Now this is Obama's ninth harmonic chart, and Biden's. It says here ninth harmonic chart, ninth harmonic chart. This is a comparison of their ninth harmonic charts, and I have saved this to file, and circled some of the combinations. But I'll show you right here. You see Sun and Mars very closely conjunct in uh, Obama's ninth harmonic chart. That means that they're making some kind of conjunction or novile or trine aspect to each other. And if we go back to Obama's chart, well, I'll do that. I'll go back to it. Uh, we'll see that his Sun and Mars are exactly 40 degrees apart, only two-minute orb. Almost exactly 40 degrees, which is a novile. And consequently, in the ninth harmonic chart, they're shown as a conjunction. This is very handy because if I look at Obama's natal chart, and I'll go back to it again, I can't tell that his Sun and Mars are 40 degrees apart. I mean, it'd have to be some kind of a, you know, computer brain or something. How would I know that they're 90 degrees apart, uh, 40 degrees apart? They're, they're not in the same degrees of the signs. And that's why the ninth harmonic is a chart is so valuable, or any harmonic chart, is that it enables you to see planets that are uh, aspected in, the, in in this case in a one-ninth, a two-ninths, three-ninths, which is also a trine aspect, or four-ninths, appear as conjunctions. So, here's um, no, that's Biden, Obama's ninth harmonic chart. So here, there's the Sun and Mars, conjunct and, and of course it's easy to see conjunctions. So if, when I do a by wheel of their charts, I'm going back to Biden and the by wheel, here's Obama's Sun Mars that I just showed you in the inner ring and we'll notice that it's square Mars and Uranus. So Biden has Mars and Uranus in ninth harmonic and Obama's Sun and Mars squares it. Now you may say, oh, oh squares to Mars Uranus looks like, you know, an explosion, looks um, violent. Uh, but squares and harmonic charts are not like squares in the natal chart. They're not necessarily, they're not as much an indication of conflict as much as they're indications of dynamic energy. So this Mars Uranus shows that Biden um, is, you might say, aggressive about community service. I mean, he... He's known to have, uh, you know, to say things abruptly, 
to, to speak out of turn, you might say, uh, and to, to forcefully push an idea and to be very passionate uh, about things like gun control and so on. He's, uh, you know, things that protect families and so on. He's an advocate for the community, Mars Uranus. Now, again, with politics, no matter what you say, somebody seems to to get upset with what you're saying. So I'm not I'm not saying it's good or bad, um, because as soon as we say that, people you know react strongly. I'm just saying that that's a fact about uh, about Biden is that that's what he does. Whether it's good or bad, we can all decide uh, for ourselves. But we need to to make some progress in studying politics. Uh, political people just talk about what the energy is. He's he is a uh, advocate, an aggressive person for these community issues, um, and uh, Obama is also an action person. Sun Mars ninth harmonic. They square each other, so they become a dynamic team for ninth harmonic issues. What is ninth harmonic? It's community service. Uh, so they are Democrats. They're on the liberal side of things. Uh, people with these n strong ninth harmonic aspects and patterns um, often not necessarily inclined that way. Um, and the criticism of the liberal or, and democratic approach is true from the about ninth harmonic. It does tend to go along with things, uh, to to sort of compromise a lot and just go with the flow. Um, Okay, but we have Sun, Mars, and the Mars Uranus. Now, I saved this to file and put circles around it, so here it is. Here's Obama's Sun, Mars, square Biden's Mars, Uranus, and Biden has Mars, Uranus, uh, I mean, Obama has Sun, Mars, square his Mercury in the ninth harmonic chart. What that means is he's also thinking about this. He's understanding He's a student of community things, and he's a commu community action person. Um, Biden is very impatient and active in his community service. He also has Neptune with it. In the harmonic chart, we use certain orbs, which won't make sense in a natal chart, but it's actually 16-degree orb uh, for conjunction, which may seem huge, but this chart is blown up nine times anyway. It's actually in reality, less than a two-degree orb. So, in, it, in any case, we use these large orbs. So he has a Mars, Uranus, Neptune pattern indicating uh, it's a dream for him, it's a passion, it's a vision for him to, to make some kind of change in the community. Um, this ties up with Obama's uh, understanding and kind of... Uh, you might say uh, rubber to the road. You know, Get it done, action for the community uh, with his, with Biden's uh, inspired and passion um, involved. And also uh, uh, Biden's Mercury gets a little bit involved here um, at 13 Capricorn, squaring his Neptune, but out of orb to, the, to most of the rest of this. And what are these green lines? They show the actual aspects in the natal chart. So this is... Uh, remember, it's Biden in the outer ring. Biden's Mercury is sextile Obama's Mars. We saw that when I looked at the bywheel. That's that sextile. And this is the sextile, which I mentioned, of Obama's Mercury to Biden's Uranus so uh, and his Neptune. So uh, I showed how uh, Obama's Mercury was sextile the Uranus and Neptune in Biden's chart. Uh, just about five minutes ago in this video, and here it is in the ninth harmonic chart. We can also see it where the trine sextiles and noviles turn into hard aspects. It's one of the cool things about um, what a harmonic chart does is it makes everything in those aspects, in the novile and sextile and trine aspects, look like hard aspects. You can see it more clearly. So there it is. I mean, sort of a, just a magical thing it does. Um, it turns uh, Biden's Uranus trine Neptune to be a conjunction with Mars uh, involved with it, which are novile. So these are all nine-based aspects hitting 
uh, Obama. So basically what I'm saying is that all of these uh, planets are tied together uh, in a dynamic way for community action. And that's what they do. And they are now president and vice president of the United States. Uh, to what extent they're succeeding at it or are good at it, you know, we can debate that, but that's what they do. They've gone to the top of the country as president and vice president uh, in that position to do that. So this is the kind of thing you can do with harmonic astrology. It takes a little bit of study, um, but don't be afraid of it. Don't think, ah, he lost me. All I'm saying is that these novile sextiles and trines turn into conjunctions and oppositions. In this chart, so you can see them. There's that novile in Obama's chart turned into a conjunction, so I can see it clearly. Uh, and I can see that it's it's interacting with this Mars Uranus, which is also in one of these novile aspects in uh, Biden's chart. So I can see that, and I can see that they're squared to each other. I can't see that by looking at the natal chart. So the harmonic chart allows me to see things that I could not see otherwise. And by going back to the natal chart, I happen to look at these aspects and notice what was going on, that some of them are actually sextiles to each other. And uh, in Biden's case, Uranus and Neptune are trying to each other. Um, now, to make this a little uh, clearer, I'll also show you this. This is the by wheel again, just showing you what's going on in Biden's chart. In Biden's chart, he has Uranus trying Neptune. This is just his chart in the outer ring. So, no harmonics here. In Joe Biden's chart, his Uranus is trying his own Neptune. And his Neptune is one-ninth to Mars. Uh, that's the thing we don't usually uh, pay a lot of attention to. But... Um, is you know is actually very important. It's it's one ninth as Mars and the Mars is four ninths Uranus. So basically you could look at it like this. Mars is coming in and making a one ninth and a four ninths because one third is three ninths plus one ninth is four ninths. It's making noviles to this trine and giving passion, impatience, and idealism uh, to the vision of Uranus-Neptune to take community action. And then Mercury, I've drawn with a thinner blue line, comes in uh, not, not as a, as a novile, but, but um, let's see, that's uh, 50 degrees. So it becomes a square in that. Now let me go back. This is his Mercury. Square his Neptune in the ninth harmonic chart. Um, means it's like a, a subtone. There's a subtone of Mercury coming in and, and modifying Neptune a little bit. Um, and we'll see this in uh, Bill Clinton's chart and Hillary Clinton's chart. Bill Clinton has Mercury sextile Neptune. Hillary Clinton has Mercury and Neptune in ninth harmonic. Uh, Joe Biden has Mercury coming in on a ninth harmonic pattern to his Neptune. You see it repeated over and over again. Um, so, so there it is. Uh, that's Biden. Now let's look at um, uh, Obama. Let's see here. Oh, here's Obama's chart. And here's his son, one-ninth Mars. You want to hear something amazing? This is mind-boggling. Bill Clinton has son, one-ninth Mars. So just look at the repetition of patterns. This, this would be a little bit much to be a coincidence. Clinton has Sun one ninth Mars, and Obama has Sun one ninth Mars. Clinton has Mercury sextile Neptune. Uh, Hillary has Mercury and Neptune in ninth harmonic aspect. I think I'm almost sure they're one ninth. Yeah, they're one ninth as well. Uh, Biden has Mercury coming in, aspecting his Neptune in an, in the ninth harmonic chart. Uh, so you see the same kinds of aspects being repeated over and over again by some of the major players. Now, uh, we could bring Al Gore into this, who, you know, vice president uh, for Clinton, but, um, you know, he's no longer that, that big of a person um, in politics at this moment, in, in the sense of like Hillary is, 
uh, so I didn't bring in his chart, but we see this repeated over and over again. Um, there's the same kinds of aspects uh, in the ninth harmonic charts, and they aspect each other's planets as well. It's really mind-boggling. Now this shows the aspects between the charts. Here's Obama's Mercury making sextiles to the Uranus and Neptune, right? Here's that Uranus trying Neptune in Biden's chart. Obama's Mercury right in the middle making sextiles. But there are all these other aspects going on. Uh, the blue aspects, the thick blue are the noviles, the thinner blue are oppositions or squares in the ninth harmonic, which means they're like subtones of ninth harmonic. Um, so that Mercury sextile Mars, uh, Obama's Mars sextile Biden's Mercury is actually part of this whole pattern, which involves um, all these planets. You know, involves Biden's uh, Uranus, Neptune, and Mars, which we saw were all tied together. Involves uh, Obama's Sun, Mars, and Mercury, and they're all, you know, they're all tied together, aspecting each other. Um, we see, for example, uh, let's see here, this Mercury aspecting uh, Obama's Mercury aspecting this Mars. Uh, and so on. Well, you know, we don't need to go into every single one because they're all just very tightly connected to each other, uh, making a pattern, bringing all those planets together. And the easiest way to see it is really just to go back to the ninth harmonic chart. And you see that Obama's got a Sun Mars in the ninth. They're novile. Uh, as Mercury square to it, he's an action person. Uh, worked in Chicago on uh, community activities. Here's the idealism, passion, impatience, and vision of Biden. He's a little bit of a wild man with his Mars, Uranus, Neptune coming in, tying up with the Sun, Mercury, Mars, and a little bit of Biden's Mercury coming in as well into this whole thing. Amazing. It describes what's going on. And really amazing is when you consider that some of the people have the same exact aspects in their charts. Okay, you're still not convinced? <laughs> Let's look at this. Here's Bill and Hillary. This is even, arguably even more mind-boggling. This is the ninth harmonic chart of Bill in the middle and the ninth harmonic chart of Hillary in the outside. That's the same exact kind of thing we just did. And look at this. Bill has Sun, Mars, Neptune. Uh, all conjunct in the ninth harmonic. What does that mean? It means they're either conjunct or trine or novile to each other. We'll go back to the natal chart to find out. But his Sun, Mars, and Neptune are all tied together in, in his own chart. Uh, let's see, the inner is Bill. And, and Hillary also has Sun, Mars. Out of these four people, three of them have Sun and Mars in ninth harmonic. Is that amazing? Um, uh, Bill, Hillary, and uh, Obama all have Sun, Mars, and Ninth Harmonic. Um, and Hillary's Ninth Harmonic trines Bill's Sun, Mars. So we see Sun, Mars, trine Sun, Mars, especially the Sun. The Mars, we allow 16 degrees for conjunctions. This is 13 degrees. So Mars is conjunct Sun, but it's not part of the big aspect pattern here. So it's just her son coming in and trining his son Mars. Um, and Hillary has her son in the ninth harmonic sextile Uranus uh, trine moon and sextile and moon is sextile Uranus. She's got this sextile sextile trine pattern in her ninth harmonic. What does that mean? It means they're tied up in subtones of ninth harmonic with her sun moon Uranus lively, spirited, uh, optimistic, um, ready to take action, ready to respond. She's not going to be stuck in the mud. She's a, a live wire going after things that she feels enthusiastic and happy about, that these things can be done. Uh, that energy, um, plus that same Sun-Mars energy that, that Clinton and Obama have, uh, coming in, making a grand trine, 
with Bill's Sun, Mars, Neptune. So, again, the same kinds of aspects, same planets. We saw uh, Mars, Uranus, Neptune, uh, basic to Biden. And here we see the Mars, Uranus, Neptune. The Neptune is out of orb to Uranus, but, but uh, Mars and Uranus are opposition. Um, go, uh, between the charts of Hillary and Bill. Um, so, again, the same kinds of things going on either within a chart or between the charts. And here we have this perfect kite formation with the planets spreading from 22 to 27 degrees, which in harmonic charts is pretty tight. Um, all right there. Same things, all, you know, all those actions. And we can go back and see exactly what they are in the natal charts. So what is this Sun, Mars, Neptune in Bill's chart? I'll go back to Sirius and go up to Bill Clinton natal. And we can just look at it because the harmonic chart is just helping us find things that are in the natal chart. Well, that's his Sun, one-ninth his Mars, Neptune conjunction. So his Sun is one-ninth his Mars, Neptune conjunction. And then Hillary has Sun, Mars, making trines and sextiles to Moon and Uranus. Sun, Mars, let's go to Hillary. Her Sun and Mars, from 14 Leo to almost 3 Scorpio, is a two-ninths. You get good at this after you uh, do this a while, but they're two-ninths um, each other. So Obama has Sun and Mars one-ninth. Uh, Bill Clinton has Sun and Mars also one-ninth. Hillary has Sun and Mars two-ninths. Uh, very, very similar meaning, whether it's one-ninth, two-ninths, or four-ninths. We get the basic pattern of what's going on. So her Sun, Mars, ties up with Moon and Uranus. Um, there's the Moon. It's a very minor aspect, and I mean, it's not nothing obvious. And there's Uranus. It doesn't look like anything. Moon and Uranus look like they're not connected at all to her Sun and Mars. See that? I mean, what does 29 Pisces have to do with 2 Scorpio? Basically, nothing. I mean, you could say they're quincunx out of sign with a three degree orb or something. Not much relationship. Not much relationship uh, of her Uranus to her Mars and Sun using aspects. But in the ninth harmonic chart, I'll look at it in that by wheel, her Sun is actually related, uh, making these aspects to Moon and Uranus and forming this pattern. So one of the things about harmonics is uh, it, it, it has a much greater depth and sensitivity and intricacy to it. And some people say, well, it's, it's you know, you're making it too complicated. We don't need all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> and the other view is this is showing this intricate tapestry that's actually there. So, you know, you can decide for yourself whether... Uh, I mean, if you're new to this idea, whether this is interesting to you and whether it makes sense or not, one of the things I like to say is that we don't get to, actually, the great physicist Richard Feynman said this, uh, we don't get to decide how Mother Nature is. She is what she is. And, you know, if she works by these intricate wave patterns and it's it gets to be part of astrology, then that's the way it is. Um, if not, then, then it isn't. Uh, but in any case... This gives you a good idea of some of the things that you can see um, with the harmonic analysis of compatibility. And just to conclude, what we're seeing are these harmonic patterns, these, these noviles. Um, you can call everything harmonic. You can call a trine a harmonic. You can call a square a harmonic, because a square is one-fourth of a circle. So you, and you can look at that as a wave pattern of one-fourth of a circle. So... We're just seeing these patterns. We don't have to use the word harmonic. Sometimes that, that scares people. We're seeing these patterns that are going on um, that involve other divisions of the circle rather than just dividing it into thirds to make trines or sextiles. We see the same planets with the same meaning reinforcing each other, 
dynamic combinations that led these people to very high success uh, to become uh, leaders uh, of uh, one of the most powerful countries in the world. So, um, you know, hopefully uh, they're doing good with this. Everybody can, can decide for themselves. But we can understand what their motivations are, what's driving them, and what's enabling them to be successful. We can see what kinds of candidates uh, work well together and reinforce the, the themes. Um, and we can help the, the people develop strategies by looking at what the patterns are in the opposing people. And then maybe the Democrats or Republicans could actually begin to understand each other and, and see what the value of each other's points of view are by analyzing the patterns that, that are driving them. Okay, so a whole new world of stuff going on. The coincidences that you see using harmonics are mind-blowing, um, like this Sun-Mars pattern repeating over and over again in these different people. Uh, it's just tremendously fascinating. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. hope you uh, learned something about harmonic astrology and some of the, some of the things we can do. If you want to be able to apply this, just start doing the ninth harmonic charts when you're doing relationships, um, and and do a by wheel of the ninth harmonic charts. Just select the ninth harmonic charts of each person, and then select a by wheel. Um, there are certain rules for orbs and and all kinds of stuff, um, but but that's that you know that'll get you started. Um, and of course. Uh, well, there's a lot more than ninth harmonic, but it, it, it is one of the harmonics that shows up in relationships uh, very frequently, especially where there's an emphasis on family or community uh, in some way. Okay, my friends, uh, take care, uh, all the best, namaste.